What's up everybody, this is Saber and today I am on day two of Raven's speed build challenge. Now today's challenge was a shuttle. Um, build a shuttle that holds at least two people um, that can be landed flat on a planet, easy to get into, no weapons, no nothing else like that. And so uh, I started off with what I thought was going to be a fairly small shuttle and that kind of exploded into this whole other idea. So this right here is the excursion. Now this um, is not so much a shuttle as it is kind of a, a space liner, if you will, kind of a, a jet passenger jet liner kind of thing. Um, so this is a spaceship jet that can hold 93 or sorry 95 people, including a co-pilot and pilot. So um, yeah, it'll hold a lot of people in its gravity. Uh, it's got seats for everything and uh, got a pretty nice set of engines if you ask me. I've got these three here in the back, uh, but then also in the wings are the actual atmospheric jets, as I call them. Um, so they are actually used while in a planet, but then the uh, larger engines kick, kick in when you're um, getting out of orbit, if you will. So yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this actually. It took about um, something like three hours um, it was, uh, I kind of had to split it up a little bit because I had to go do something, but then I finished up the detailing just now. And so you can see here, it's got a, a gray underbelly. So that would be like the heat shielding for re-entering atmosphere. And then, uh, all those windows there for all the passengers. But I had a lot of fun with this one. Um, I'll go ahead and make sure the stats come up. And so you guys can check those out. I've actually got a lot of room left in the engine room where I could put shields or engines or a little bit more power. Most of the power is pretty well tapped out as far as room to put it. So uh, there's not much room left for that. I may show you guys the engine room um, here towards the end, but it's not anything accessible. It's just uh, just part of the build that I you know, had some fun with. So let's go ahead and hop out of this thing just so I can take you guys through a walkthrough of the ship. All right, so here we are in the cabin up here where the pilot and co-pilot would be. So right here's where the pilot would sit. So you got a really nice view out front. Got your controls right here in front of you. Got room to uh, put your legs down so you could control the rudders. And uh, yeah, this came together pretty well. And then coming out here, you got two main doors to exit from. And then you're in first class. So here is the first class area. I got these nice little chairs in here armrests between the two because, you know, you don't want to sit right next to somebody when you're in first class. So then you got the other seat over here, got a nice window view right out there along the forward swept wings. And then on back here, you get to the, uh, the coach area, which is the three seats in a row. Still a really nice view though. And then back here you have the, uh, the nice first class slash coach bathrooms. So here would be the toilet, then here's a little corner um, corner sink with a mirror. It's hard to see the glass, though. So we're going to go ahead and... Oh, yeah, yeah. And the uh, luggage compartments. I'm pretty happy with those. So you could, you know, still a little bit of baggage up there. Obviously, you can't really, but you know what I mean. And then down here is the exit. Just walk right out onto your destination, whatever exotic place that might be. Today we're in Iceland. Or sorry, Greenland. Oh man, I missed it up. Oh, today we're in Greenland. Because Iceland is nice. And Greenland is covered in ice. There's some rhyme about that. I don't know. Something like that. Anyway, this is the economy class. Or is it coach? See, I forget which one is the worst one. I'm pretty sure it's economy is worse than coach. This is the worst of the two. Because <laughs> this seats a lot more people so like here you got your seats now obviously these aren't actually shaped like seats but that's because you can't actually sit down so these are the uh the other seats so uh right here isn't a bad view but i'll tell you what it just gets worse as you go down because then you can just see oh hey there's the planet and that's it no uh no room for luggage here i suppose you could well you could pretend there's someone in the seat, but uh, yeah, we'll just say that. And this has got to be the worst seat in all history of any airline ever. Or space line, even. And then here we have the horrible, awful... Uh, 
economy class bathrooms with barely enough room for anything at all. Much less uh, getting your business done. So yeah, that is the interior of this thing. Got plenty of gravity to hit as soon as you get on the uh, on the ship. So you can just reach over here, hit that, and then you're in. Except I just got out of it. There we go, now I'm in it. Yeah, and then you just take this lovely ramp up here to... Oh man, so refreshing, so nice. So uh, it's definitely worth the uh, extra extra credits to get the, the good seats up here. So we'll go back and you know what, I'll show you guys the engine room just because I have plenty of time left. Alright. So there's actually a little bit of room right under the cabin left that's just spare room for anything that I might decide to put in there. Uh, like I said, I do have some shields in here but uh, you know, it's I don't really feel like this needs much because it's like a civilian passenger liner. So then here's the engine room. Now obviously the power is all over the place and that's just because of how, how power works um, best with like the three axis method. You can get way more power in a smaller space than just filling the whole thing with power generators. So then I've got uh, some shields and then engines over here and I could put in more engines but we'll take it on a little test flight and you guys can see just how it's doing with just the uh, small amount of engines that it currently has. So let's go ahead and do that now. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot to mention the cameras. Yeah, I've got uh, a few cameras on this thing. I really like this one because they actually have this in a lot of airliners where you can uh, um, use the, the screen in front of you. Usually it's for like international flights, but you can use the screen in front of you to uh, like look at um, exterior shots of the plane. And uh, this is usually one of them up in the tail. But then uh, I got one kind of for landing and then just the core, which uh, has a nice nice cabin shot. So let's go ahead and take this thing out of here. Has no problem getting out of the gravity, even, even though it doesn't have that many engines in it actually. I thought I was gonna have to put way more in, but uh, it handles really nicely. So I'll go ahead and bring up the HUD too, so you guys can see what kind of speed I'm getting. You can see I'm getting no power drain. Shields are all full, all that kind of good stuff. But yeah, like I said, I had a lot of fun with this one. Um, if you guys are interested in doing this, um, this is a challenge that Raven has issued where it's a, a ship a day keeps the pirates at bay is what he calls it. So most of us are just calling it a ship a day. And uh, basically he's doing a different theme for each day. So then you just do a speed build for that day where you get the whole day to uh, make and refine a ship that has to follow that theme. And so the first one was a fighter, a micro fighter as he called it, but it was actually a big fighter for most people, for most people's standards at least. And uh, then today was a shuttle, and then tomorrow is going to be a salvager, which it has to be a salvager, but it also has to be, it has to use a power drain or power supply or repair beam in it as well. So it's gonna be a combination of one of those two. But I think that's about it for me. Um, I think I'll leave you guys with a little bit of footage of me just kind of flying this thing around. I'm gonna head back to the ice planet because I think that looks a little nicer. But look at this background, isn't that amazing? <laughs> I'm not crazy about the cover pink, but man, this is a killer killer backdrop for this thing. So, oops, maybe I should not do that right over the plant. All right, thank you guys for watching. And like I said, I'll uh, do some cinematic shots for you guys. But other than that, that covers it for me. I uh, hope you guys are having a wonderful day and definitely feel free to check out this challenge. It's been so much fun and uh, helped me as a builder. So uh, yeah, feel free to check it out. I'll link to everything down below and I will see you guys later.